Good evening. I wanted to uh, provide a quick update on uh, Hurricane Hannah, which has now made landfall here on Padre Island and is um, thankfully making landfall in an area that is relatively low population. Um, this area is not really significantly populated at all. However, um, the hurricane is large enough to where it is affecting areas like Corpus Christi and Brownsville down here with the bands and southern eyewall, which has been affecting South Padre Island for the majority of the day. Um, this is really slow to a crawl here. This is moving very, very slowly um, to the west-southwest, and um, due to this slower motion, this will likely lead to uh, significant rainfall totals within the uh, southern part of Texas here near the Rio Grande Valley, and this is um, very dangerous because we could have training bands that um, lead to significant rainfall totals, um, 8 to 12 inches is um, likely across this southern part of Texas and isolated amounts of probably higher rainfall totals overall will um, be associated with this. This is a pretty vigorous hurricane here. Um, this has not been a joke. We've had uh, several reports of winds in excess of, um, or wind gusts in excess of 100 miles per hour. We had a couple of those today. Um, and so this has not been a picnic for a lot of people. Um, and this is still ongoing. You can still see the southern eyewall is still pretty strong here and is going over um, the southern, the northern parts of um, the area, the Brownsville area and the South Padre Island area. Um, and as always, please do heed your local government officials if you are under a flash flood warning, as the waters will rise pretty fast here if that is the case. Um, and stay tuned to your local officials, as always. And uh, next up, we're going to look at uh, Hurricane Douglas here. Um, this is kind of um, losing steam now as it approaches Hawaii. This is definitely not as defined as we found it two days ago. This is um, still um, a hurricane, though, so it still does deserve warning. And hurricane warnings are up now for the island of Oahu. And hurricane watches are up for the rest of the Hawaiian islands to the east of the island of Oahu here. And um, tropical storm warnings are up for these two islands. Um, if you look at the, um, or tropical storm watches, sorry. Um, if you look at the track, you can see that the uh, angle of approach is um, pretty um, crazy. And you, if you have a slight wobble to the south, um, it could bring hurricane force, con or hurricane conditions to um, the more eastern or more easterly islands of Hawaii. This is going to probably pass pretty far to the north of the uh, big island of Hawaii, but again, any slight deviation in track could bring the hurricane onshore here to these islands. But regardless of whether or not it is onshore, um, please ref please uh, be prepared for mudslides and um, flash flooding, as that is typically what is the case with um, hurricanes like this as they approach from this angle. Um, it's always been... Um, flooding and uh, mudslides. So stay tuned to the uh, local, your local National Weather Service in Honolulu for all of the latest regarding the storm. Um, please stay safe. This is pretty crazy for this part of the world here. Um, and now on to uh, 92L. We're going to get a wide shot of the Atlantic here and uh, give you kind of a perspective view. Um, credit goes out to uh, tropicaltidbits.com for this um, shot that we have here. Um, here is 92L, way out in the eastern Atlantic here. Um, you can see this wave is rather large and is embedded within a very um, moist environment here and is mo moving um, gradually off to the west. Um, we're kind of watching this for uh, development as it approaches the islands within the next several days. Um, it's about five days from the, I or from the islands, um, or four, five days plus or minus one day. Um, and this will likely be impacting these the islands as something, um, and maybe a tropical storm. It may, um, you know, still be a wave here, but we're watching this for development as this continues onward. And there are kind of hints that this storm um, in model runs will um, progress beyond the Leeward Islands. This is in a much better environment than Gonzalo in, was in. It's not going to have to fight as hard. Saharan dust is well to the north here. 
and um, the overall moisture envelope is far more significant than Gonzalo's. It's not having to maintain itself as much as Gonzalo is because, or Gonzalo was, um, and this is likely to become pretty significant this may um, be um, something to talk about later in the week. Um, but yeah, this is something definitely to watch. Um, I'm going to leave you with uh, the visible shot of Hurricane Hannah as it comes ashore here. You can see the eyes clearing out now, and um, it's probably looking pretty pretty on Padre Island right now um, as they are stuck in the eye of the hurricane um, as of right now. Um, as always, please stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center, your local National Weather Service office, and uh, your local officials for all of the latest regarding Hannah and Douglas and, uh, and 92L, which may become something down the line. Um, always watch the official government uh, workers and the people that actually do the forecasts. And stay safe tonight in South Texas. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah.